If you have a parent who is a narcissist, you know how difficult it is to have a relationship with them. After every interaction, you find yourself feeling drained, don't you? The conversation always goes the same way. They're going to nitpick you to death and tell you every little thing that you don't do right. And hey, you were the kids that got all A's in school when you excelled in everything that you did. Now, they love bragging to their friends, don't they? Oh, you know, they did this and they do that because it makes them look good. But the moment you're not perfect, all right, and you don't meet their expectations, they're going to remind you that nothing that you do is good enough. And they're going to tell you Guess what? No one calls me. No one checks on me because their favorite role to play in every musical is the victim, which does just what it's designed to do. It makes you feel guilty. Now, your siblings, they got the memo a long time ago. They have completely cut them off or they rarely come around. And it's a sighting like a UFO, like, oh, wait a minute. I think I saw one. Uh huh. And because you're an empath, though, this makes you feel what? Bad for them because you're putting yourself in their shoes. So you take responsibility for making sure they feel loved. And at the end of the day, all you want in return is what? Just their love. Nothing more, nothing less. But they seem incapable of giving it to you. And if you ever make this mistake, that you think you're going to confront them and try to hold them accountable and tell them how you feel by how they've treated you, huh, they're going to turn the tab tables and tell you how selfish and ungrateful you are for all the things that they have done for you. Now, here's what you have to be willing to accept. A narcissistic parent is never, ever going to give you love. Narcissists have no empathy, which is a key ingredient in the recipe that we call love. And you have to realize their feelings are not your responsibility. Say it again, class. Their feelings are not my responsibility. And your relationship with them is the key reason why you keep getting into relationships with narcissists. And you got to realize you don't have the parent that you see in Christmas commercials or in Hallmark mo movies. And you never will. So for your own sanity, you're going to have to practice self-love and put up boundaries and go extremely low contact or absolutely no contact. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? This doesn't make you mean, but it means you realize with a narcissistic parent, you'll never be seen, not by them. Okay. Now, if you're struggling with this, and accepting this reality and you still find yourself going to the well because you want them to finally see you and just love you. And I get it. And every time you get disappointed, do this. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Schedule your free 30 minute consultation so you and I can have the conversation. I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you to deal with your narcissistic parent. If you've enjoyed this information, please subscribe and share. Take care. Peace.